Y'all check this out. They're saying that Nick Diaz was arrested on two separate charges, domestic battery by strangulation, which is a felony and a misdemeanor. Domestic battery, the felony charge could result in a prison term for up to five years if convicted. Okay, there's two sides to every story, okay? And the story that's out right now is that Nick Diaz strangled a woman, <laughs> strangled a woman and broke her hip. Nick Diaz did not break a woman's hip and he didn't strangle her. If Nick Diaz had strangled this woman, she would have purple fingerprints on her neck. She would have fingerprints on her damn neck. And the report said that she had red around her eyes. That's where she's rubbing her damn eyes. Okay. And he said she had some red on her neck. That's bullshit. She did that shit. If Nick Diaz grabbed, grabbed a woman by the throat and strangled her. Okay, listen. Super Cash has rolled, filed, had rolled for years. Okay. Fingerprints all over my damn arms. You know. You know, people that do jiu-jitsu know what Super Cash is talking about. Fingerprints all over your neck, all over your shoulders. Okay, where people grab you. Okay. And if Nick Diaz had grabbed a woman by the throat and tried to strangle her, she would have purple fingerprints, bruises on her neck. Okay. Because Nick Diaz is a pro fighter. And if they tried to strangle her, say strangle. That's a whole lot different than maybe he put his hand up there to block her. Okay. Maybe he put his hand. Who knows what happened? But Super Cash should tell you right now, if Nick Diaz tried to strangle a woman, she would have bruising on her neck. And, it, you know, and they said that, you know, they sent 12 cop cars. Just because they sent 12 cop cars don't mean, does not make it, a, you know, a worse thing than what it is. It's a crock of shit. Then they said when Nick Diaz got back to the police station, he had an altercation with two correctional officers. Okay, listen. Nick Diaz had a hurt elbow. Y'all seen that, that uh, video with the pus squirting out of his fucking elbow? Okay. Super Cash has had injuries like that. And what that's from is he's got something in his elbow. He's got something in his elbow. That's not an injury like per se. Okay. Like he fell off your bicycle. Maybe he fell off his bicycle and a stick went up in his elbow. Or a rock's in his elbow. Something is in his fucking elbow. And that's why that pus is forming around what's in his elbow. Because it wants to squirt that infection. You know, it's infection is what it is. And that's a hell of a lot different than a bruise. Okay, when you got a big sore infection like that on your elbow, it's painful. It's fucking painful. And goddamn tell you, Nick Diaz was in fucking handcuffs. Okay, and those correction officers, okay, want to be Mr. Tough Guy. See, they real tough when they got the ultimate fighter, okay, in handcuffs. That gives them, you know, he probably said, hey, motherfucker, I didn't do that shit. Be easy, man. My elbow hurts, motherfucker. Okay, and his elbow, you can see, you know, I'm super cash to tell you right now. When you got that much infection in your elbow, it's highly sensitive to the touch. Highly sensitive to the touch. Okay. And they were, you know, and he's in handcuffs. What kind of threat could he be in handcuffs? In fucking handcuffs. They probably had him in shackles too. Who knows? But they had him in handcuffs. And then they claim there's an altercation. No, he probably said, hey, motherfucker, my fucking elbow, man. It's fuck you. Don't fucking push me around like that. Shit. Now I fuck you. See that, you know, that, that's just, you know, that's just the fucking, that's bullshit. That's no crime. He was not charged with nothing. The cops just throw that shit out there. Okay. So that's no charges on that about the altercation with the cops. That's bullshit. Okay. That's just some couple of assholes tried to seem tough. That's all the fuck it is. So dismiss that. Okay. Dismiss sending the 12 cop cars out. Cause that had, you know, that's bullshit. Okay. And the strangulation, strangulation, that is a crock of dog shit. If that woman had been strangled, strangled. Okay. They didn't say choked. Okay. They didn't say he put his hand on her. They didn't say he pushed her. 
Okay, they made it strangled because that's probably what she said. She probably said he strangled me, which implies he tried to kill her. Okay, that's what it implies. Okay, and she's read about War Machine and all this kind of shit. And this, you know, Super Cash is going to show y'all in a minute. The woman that's accusing Nick of all this shit is a fucking psychopath. She's truly a psychopath. Okay, and she's accused him of, of all this shit. She's been studying the War Machine shit. Okay, she's all about drama. Okay, and she confronted Nick Diaz. She confronted Nick Diaz trying to make drama. Trying to make drama. And she's texting him all the time. Text him, text him, text him. You know, and he just tries to be nice and says, hey, I'm busy right now and blows her off or whatever, you know. You know, he just blows her off. What else can he say? Okay, and she's got this shit going that ain't going or whatever, and she's a drama. She's a drama bitch, and she gets all in his face, talking shit, talking smack, okay, and he tells her to go on. She won't go on. She gets up all in his face, he don't, you know, and a woman could be a danger too. And he's got, and he's got one arm. He's got one arm. The other arm, the other arm is infected. It's infected. It's not injured. It's infected. And it's a bad infection. And Nick Diaz needs to go to the hospital because his blood could turn septic and he could die. That's a severe infection. And I'm super cash to tell you right now. That that, you know, his elbow is sore to the touch. Anyway, he probably put his hand up. This is probably what happened. She was screaming at him, talking shit. He put his hand up. Oh, you just strangled me. You just strangled me. Okay, this, you know. He's like, hey, fuck off. You know, let me, well, I mean, I'm calling the cops because you, you know, what you, you don't think that shit's possible? Listen to this. You wake up the next day and you delete random snaps of girls so your other side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friend's chances of getting pussy in your eyes because you used to do it. And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you used to do it. I'm done with you. I fucking hate you. After you not being there for me through the whole fucking sick thing. Can you imagine her being in his face? You're always too busy for me, and then you. See that? That's pure and damn hate. Day you delete random snaps of girls so your other side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friends' chances of getting pussy in your eyes because you used to do it. And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you used to do it. I'm done with you. I fucking hate you. After you not being there for me through the whole fucking sick thing, and after you just telling me you're always thing. too busy for me, and then you... So they threw the sick thing. She obviously had some sick thing. She's a drama bitch. So your other side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friends' chances of getting pussy. I don't invite her to the club, so. Do it. And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you used to do it. I'm done with you. He don't text her and call her. You not being there for me through the whole fucking sick she thing. And after you just telling me she's mad. Too busy for me, and then you. Say so she stopped him. She's mad at him. She stalked him. She's mad at him. And that's what it all is. She stalked him. And she's fucking mad at his ass. And that's how she get him back. So he is accusing him of a bunch of horse shit. Okay. And this lady right here needs to go to jail for her false accusations. All right. She's a fucking psychopath. Nick Diaz is innocent. See, this is a bunch of trash. You so, wake up the next day and you delete random snaps of girls so your other side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friends' chances of getting pussy in your eyes because you used to do it. And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you used to do it. I'm done with you. I fucking hate you. After you not being there for me through the whole fucking sick thing, and after you so he, telling me you're always he wasn't there for her, her. And then you he, he's not with her. She's crazy. You wake up the next day and you delete random snaps of girls so your other side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friends' chances of getting pussy in your eyes because you used to do it. 
And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you used to do it. You I'm used to do it. She's a chicken sandwich hoe, see? Like, She's a chicken sandwich hoe is what, what it is. And and Nick Diaz used to buy her chicken sandwich, and now she's mad. He don't buy her chicken sandwich no more. Side hoes don't get mad. And the only reason you don't invite me to the club is because I affect you and your friends' chances of getting pussy in your eyes because you used to do it. And the only reason you don't text me and don't call me is because you're too busy fucking around with them because you so used to do it. That's hate. I'm done with you. She says I hate I you. I fucking hate you. I